Hello everyone, uh, this is Kylan Rigsby and I'm here to do a quick tutorial video over the quotient rule. So some quick objectives, uh, we're just going to learn to calculate the derivative using the quotient rule. So uh, I have a little jingle that I learned, that we learned um, for the quotient rule and it goes low d high minus high d low over the square of below. Square, yeah, the square of below. Um, so to write this out, if you have a function that is g of x over h of x to say, let's say, the low d high minus high d low over the square of below you would take low, your bottom, so you take h of x um, my, uh, times your um, d high, which is the derivative of the top, so g prime of x minus high, just the top, which would just be g of x d low is the derivative of the bottom, which would be h prime of x. All over the square of below, below being the bottom. So you would take your h of x and you're going to square that. So that is just a quick little overview of what the quotient rule is. So let's start. We're going to go blue for our simple um, example. We're going to start us off simple. Uh, we're just going to go y equals x squared over x cubed. Just a real simple one to start. So uh, same thing, remember the jingle, low d high minus high d low over the square below. We're going to take um, here the bottom, x cubed, that just stays the same. Um, our derivative of x squared is just 2x um, minus um, just our top or high uh, times our d low. Um, which is the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared over x cubed squared. Parentheses got crazy, but that's okay. Uh, so then it's pretty simple after that. You're just going to combine like terms and simplify. So this one, um, combining there, you're going to go 2x to the fourth minus three x to the fourth again over there is going to be x to the sixth. Uh, so there you uh, simplify that even more to negative one x to the fourth over x to the sixth. Now, um, you can simplify that even more, actually. Um, that's fine. But uh, if you'd like, you could simplify that more to 1 or negative 1 over um, x squared. So uh, that's just a real simple one there. Um, you can look over that and See, just remember that jingle and you're pretty much safe. Um, I'm going to go another color for this next one, just because oh, purple, because I like that color, uh, for a little bit more complex example. Uh, this one, we're going to go y equals x plus 4 over 2x minus 5. 2x minus 5. 
All right, so uh, same thing again. It's pretty uh, simple. Uh, low D high minus high D low over the square below. Uh, get that memorized. That's a good uh, jingle that'll help you get this really fast. So we're going to try to just go here um, with our low. Derivative of the high, which x plus 4 is just 1, minus our x plus 4 times um, the derivative of that, is 2x minus 5, is just 2. All over our 2x minus 5 squared. So it gets pretty fast once you've got that uh, pretty much memorized. So uh, again, we're going to simplify a little bit. Uh, that time 2x minus 5 times 1 is just 2x minus 5. So that one's uh, rather easy to simplify. Uh, minus our, there we just do some simple uh, multiplying 2x plus 8, oh, that's all right, um, over, again, 2x minus 5 squared. So we can just write that. All right. Uh, so then, again, we're just going to uh, combine like terms, do some simplifying there. And after you do that, um, Two, the 2x two is canceled, 2x minus 2x cancel, so those are gone. Don't have to worry about those. Negative 5, uh, the minus here, don't forget, goes in to the parentheses, making that negative 5 minus 8, essentially, making it negative 13 over our 2x minus 5 squared. And that is as simplified as you're going to get there. So really just a little bit more complex numbers is all and a little bit more complex simplifying as um, far as that goes. But again, the initial um, start to these, finding the derivative of these is pretty simple as long as you remember that little jingle. Uh, so let's go one last one more. We're just going to go a little bit uh, more advanced. Um, so this one, we're going to add an E in, which um, actually won't be that hard because the derivative of E is, U, is E. So uh, it's just it's going to get a little bit messier. So we want to kind of try practicing at that. Uh, so a little bit more complex one here. We're going to go y equals 5e to the x over 3e to the x plus 1. All right, so we're going to get really good at this jingle. Uh, again, 3 e to the x plus 1, just to copy that below. Uh, here, uh, you're going to do the derivative of the top, but a derivative of e is just e, making it 5 e to the x, um, and then also 5 e to the x here, or the top times 3e to the x, because that's the derivative there. That stays the same, but the 1 goes away. All right, over again, 3e to the x plus 1 squared. So again, as long as you know the jingle, you should be pretty well off. The only trick there is is you have to know derivative of e. So once you know the derivative of e, you're set. Um, 
this one's just a little lengthier and a little bit uh, has a little bit longer numbers and the simplifying is a little bit harder. Uh, when all is said and done though, 15 e to the 2x, which I just got from um, multiplying there um, and doing some simplifying of this, 5 e to the x minus our 15 e x e to the sec two to two x sorry uh there again same reasoning just combining like terms as i said before um again we're just gonna leave this for now because nothing really needs to mess with that uh oversimplifying is actually worse so um and so simplifying the top again, uh, 15 to e to the 2x minus 15 to the e to the 2x. These cancel each other, making our final 5e to the x over 3e to the x plus 1 squared. That is your final answer. So just a little bit more complex as far as simplifying and stuff, but uh, quotient rule is pretty easy going for the most part. Um, like I said, only thing I would focus on is maybe remembering the jingle and make sure you don't simplify too far. Free response questions, basically just leave it where you get it. Yeah, most mistakes are made simplifying. It's easier to make mistakes there. Um, so just be cautious of that. Uh, but thank you for watching, and uh, that is all.